Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new here. For today's video I have a B&M pound line and pound stretcher haul. These kind of hauls are my favourite to watch on YouTube because I love seeing the new end products that B&M pound line and pound stretchers have and especially when it comes up to a new holiday. So obviously Halloween's around the corner and I have been seeing new Halloween products in all these shops on their Instagrams. So I was very excited to go into these shops today. Also as you know when you go into B&M pound line or pound stretchers you don't just go in for what you're looking for. You always, always, always come out with a lot more. And that's what happened today. So if you want to see some new products, what products I picked up, and the Halloween slash autumn products that I picked up, just keep watching. I'm going to start with B&M first because we got quite a lot through there. So the first thing for B&M I picked up is a new cat placemat for Morty's bowls because he is so messy. We used to have his bowls and I'm at in the living room but we've moved it out into the kitchen and it's just such a mess such a mess so I picked this up we were going to buy the bigger one because he's actually really really messy but the dog ones weren't actually as nice black and white lines and then we've got the two spaces for the bowls one's got a fish bone and one's got a paw um, and the gold accent so I thought that was really cute so that'll go in the kitchen and this was only one pound Next, I just picked up a little mini box of surf washing powder. We're running out of our washing powder and instead of buying a big box, I'm just going to wait until we get our regular stuff from Aldi because cheapest chips and it's what we're used to. But I just picked up a really small surf and it does 23 washes, so not too bad and it smells quite nice. It's a coconut bliss scent. I don't think I've ever tried this before. This was 2 99 for this little box. Then I picked up this Star Drops White Vinegar Spray. I've heard this is good for your shower doors if they're glass and any kind of glass product. Um, it's multi-purpose and removes laundry stains and lime scale as well. So we could probably use this in the shower as well because we get a lot of grout and dirt and stuff like that in the shower. It's quite disgusting actually. Don't know why it goes that disgusting. I always see Gemma Louise Miles uh, raving about this so I thought I would pick it up today and I always always see it and just never pick it up. This was only 79 pence which I find amazing like that a size of bottle for 79 pence that's why I love B&M. Next I was very excited to see this back in the shops because for the longest time you couldn't just get the normal pink stuff and I've got the normal pink stuff it was always like the oxy stain remover and then it was the bathroom spray I needed the normal stuff so just the pink stuff the miracle multi-purpose cleaner Amazing. Literally, this has lifted fake tan out of my carpets before. This was only 89 pence as well, so it's cheap as chips, it works like magic. You need to go and get it. Next, little bit of food item here. I picked up sweet chilli flavour rice crackers. These crackers are unreal. These crackers were 79 pence as well. My eyes, I do not know what is going on. I have my contacts in, but like, it's maybe because I'm not filmed in a while, my eyes are going a bit crazy. Next two products we picked up. We picked up some Anodin Extra and some Ibuprofen. Anodin was 95 pence and Ibuprofen was 1.99. Moving on to our second bag, I picked up some Tampax and these were 1.99. Always need Tampax girls. Next I picked up two packs of the Skinny Whip bars. These are unreal, less than 99 calories and they just, it doesn't feel like you're eating a healthy bar. Like, it feels like you're eating a bar of chocolate. I love them. I wish I got more. I think there was a lot of people in the aisle, so I was like, mm, just grab a few. So I picked up the strawberry and chocolate and toffee and chocolate. I love these. These were both one pound. Another foodie item, I picked up the sour cream and chai flavoured savouries. I love the cheese savouries, which are just the plain cheese ones. But I've seen these, and I don't think I've ever actually seen the sour cream and chai ones. So, again had to just get them. B&M is amazing for snacks like this. So these were one pound as well for a decent sized bag. So more cat items. I picked up three different bags of Dreamies. Can't go to B&M without getting Dreamies for the cat because why not? If we're treating ourselves we need to treat the cat as well. So I got uh, delicious cheese, tantalising turkey and with tempting beef. So he's all dreamed out for a while. These dreamies were 95 pence, 95 pence a packet for all these dreamies. Then we picked up two poop scoops because if you've got an indoor cat and you use poop scoops, you know they get quite minging easily. 
These were 75 pence each for two poop scoops. Now we've got all the boring, regular, everyday things out of the way. This is what I actually went into b and for. The Halloween stuff. Now, I'm happy with what I got, but at the same time, I went in specifically looking for two items, and the two items that I was looking for weren't there. So I'm a bit upset. The thing I picked up is, and I've got glitter everywhere, this Trick or Treat Candy Dreams Scented Hand Soap. How cute is that? And it's 350 mils, so it's a decent amount of soap in here. I haven't actually smelled it. I can't really smell what it smells like, but when I use it, I will obviously smell it. But I couldn't get over how cute it was, and it's a decent size bottle. So this hand soap was 149, and I thought it just looks so cute, and I might even keep the bottle, just refill it with hand soap for Halloween, because why not? I think it's so cute. Next, I picked up this Halloween LED pillar candle. And if you can see, I'm going to just actually take it off. Take all the wrapping off so I can show you properly. Wow. Oh, it actually, oh my god, it actually has candle. Right, I did not know that. I thought it was going to be plastic, but it actually feels like wax. So this is what we look like. It's got your pumpkin, your haunted house, your bats. And then round here, we have the witch on the broomstick. And I'll need to put batteries in it, but it's just an LED candle. Oh, I just thought it was so cute. And this was £2. Next, I have seen this online as well, and I was very excited to buy this. It is a light-up pumpkin. And it's just literally got, like, obviously your lights and an adescent paper inside, and it lights up. But a clear little pumpkin, it reminds me of Cinderella. So cute. And this was £4. Okay, the last pumpkin thing we got, which is covering everything in glitter. I picked up the Glitter and Sequins pumpkin. I've seen these all over Instagram as well. The only ones I didn't see were like the neutral coloured ones, which I'm quite gutted about. Because um, there was a few cream ones I was going to pick up, but it's fine. But yeah, this is still really, really cute. Orange glitter and sequins, and this was only £1.50. Right, and lastly, saving the best to last, I thought I was going to be out of luck with this next one. I've seen this all over Instagram as well, and I thought, nah, there is no chance I'm going to go in, and it's, got, it's still going to be there. The spooky one was there, and I couldn't see this until I walked up, and someone had dumped this where it wasn't supposed to be. So it's just a little sign that says boo, and we light up. I think it is so cool. I love these wee neon lights. It's just so cute. So this was six pounds. Um, I should have actually got batteries when I was in B&M because as soon as this tag comes off, I'll need to put batteries in. But I did it. I didn't get batteries for B&M. It's not the pound stretchers. She actually crammed so much into my pound stretchers bag. But anyway, pound stretchers. I love pound stretchers. This is what I've listened to literally all day. All day. That's what woke me up this morning. First thing I picked up in pound stretchers were two new loofahs because ours are getting a bit minging in the shower. So picked up two more, one for me and one for Harry. So these were 129 each. More snacks for pound stretchers because they actually sell the best snacks. So I picked up the Big Crunch spicy rings and the Big Crunch onion rings. My favourite kind of crisps are onion rings, spicy rings, anything like that. So, got both of them. These were £1 each for a decent sized bag. This is the next thing I picked up and I don't know why, it kind of, it just drew me to it when I seen it in the shop. So, we have Dulce Sol black cheesecake with cream cheese and blueberries. And they just looked really really nice see if i open these and they're not anything like this picture will be gutted because that is the only reason i picked them up this was 129 for five individual wrapped little cakes so hopefully they taste nice next i picked up two of my favorite sauce every time i go to pound stretchers i need to buy this sauce and we've actually ran out and it is so gutting for like the last week and a half i haven't had this sauce so I have just got the Havana Club Kebab House Chili Sauce Classic Takeaway Recipe and this sauce 
tastes exactly like the chilli sauce you get in kebab shops. And these sauces are 149 each, which is unreal for 500 ml of this. Also, in Pound Stretchers, we picked up some more anodin and some paracetamol because there's a lot, obviously, that you can't buy so many different medications at once. So, paracetamol um, worth 50 pence and anodin was 149. Then we picked up three tubs of these bamboo cotton buds. Um, Harry's got two packs out already, but these cotton buds were 1.99 each. I get a decent amount in the tub and we bought three of them. And they're bamboo, so better for the environment. Now we're on a Halloween slash autumn kind of decor, right? Now, Halloween section in Pound Stretchers wasn't that amazing. Like, I wasn't blown away by it. But I did pick up one Halloween thing, and again, I did see this online. So it's just a wee sign that says, come in for a bite. I thought it was quite cute, hang on the door. But this was the only Halloween thing that I bought. Okay, it doesn't actually tell me on the receipt how much this was, so I don't know if it's actually been scanned. That is literally not on my receipt, so I don't actually know how much this little sign was. Next, some candles. And I thought these were quite autumn scented candles, so I did pick up four of them. Four little mini jar candles. Two of them are the same because, oh, they just smell unreal. So I did pick up two of the rhubarb crumble. And <clears throat> they just smell like the rhubarb custard sweets. Oh my fucking god. Oh, honestly, unreal. Unreal. Um, these candles were all 99 pence each, so you really can't go wrong. Then I picked up a plum pudding. Oh, just literally smells fruity, plummy, unreal. And the last one, which is virgin on the autumn kind of scents, I picked up a toasted marshmallow. And lastly, I'm going to move on to Poundland, the last shop in this haul. Good old Poundland. Absolutely love Poundland. Literally one of my favourite shops. So the first thing I picked up for Poundland, I picked up two of the Whitworth Snacking Yogurt Coated Banana Chips. I love these for snacking on. I think they're just really nice, actually. <laughs> they're not as dry as just plain banana chips and they've got lovely yogurt on top of them. So I picked up two bags of these. Then I picked up two nail polish removers and these bottles have got smaller. Like, I'm not even lying. I was going to pick these up in B&M and they were only 59 or 79 pence. Me and Harry can't remember what price they were, actually. And I said, no, no, I'll get the bigger bottle for Poundland. And I went in, they were the same size bottles for a pound each. So I myself out with like 30 pence. But, like, they used to sell the big bottles in Poundland. I'm not even lying. But I picked up two 250ml bottles of this nail polish remover here. I have used this nail polish remover for as long as I can remember. It is the classics. And that's all I can tell you for the bottle. But I use this all the time. Um, so I picked up two bottles for £2 in Poundland. Right, didn't actually pick up a lot in Poundland. So now I'm moving on to the Halloween stuff. Okay, so the first thing I picked up. Ah, like what? I actually love it so much. The first thing I picked up is a cauldron candle. Like a cauldron candle. It's a wee cauldron with a red candle and it's caramel apple and violet scent. Looking at it now, I wish I picked up two, but do I really need two? Am I actually going to burn this candle? Oh, I don't know. I could burn it, clean it, and then just use it as a tea light candle holder, couldn't I? Because that wee cauldron is so cute. They had it in gold as well, but I thought black cauldron goes a lot better. Oh, it just smells so nice, but yeah first little piece from Poundland. Then, I don't know why I picked this up. I was looking at it for a while and then I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna get it. We'll put it somewhere. I want my house to be Halloween town this year. So, I picked up Hanging Witches Hats. Comes with three hats and you hang them for the ceiling. So I picked these up. And lastly, I'm most excited about this last thing. I have seen these 
everywhere, right? The only thing is I'm a bit gutted these ones don't have legs. The other ones that had legs, I didn't really like the colours. I wanted to stay autumnal, fall, Halloween with the orange. But I picked up two gonks. <laughs> These two gonks, ah, oh, I'm just gonna sit them somewhere. I thought they were so, so cute. You do get ones with the long dangly legs, but again, you didn't get mines in orange. But these were three pounds each, so, oh, I actually love them. They're so cute. But yeah, that is the last thing I have to show you guys in this haul today. So if you enjoyed seeing what I got from B&M Poundland and Pound Stretchers, don't forget to like and subscribe. I could really use your support. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.